Hello, my beautiful Leos. Welcome to your weekly reading. This is your forecast for March 16th through the 22nd, 2020. Watch this reading if you are a Leo sun sign, Leo moon sign, Leo rising, Leo on the house cusp, if you have your sun in the fifth house or your Venus in Leo. For your reading today, we are using the Tarot, tarot Mucha as my primary tarot deck. At the end of your reading, or I should say towards the end of your reading, I'll be pulling a card from the Numinous Astro deck to see what sign you are dealing with this week. And also we will be getting some guidance, advice from the Psychic Tarot for the Heart to see what heart-based wisdom will help us get through the next week. Just as a reminder, guys, these are general readings, may not resonate with everyone. As I always say, for the most accurate reading with the most accurate outcome, please come get a private personal tarot reading with me, with either me or your favorite tarot reader out there. I'm going to be looking at six cards for your week ahead, Leo. We're going to look at how you see yourself today. What is the theme for you over the next week? What is something that Leo has learned in their past, a lesson Leo has learned in their past that will be useful for them to remember this week? A challenge they may be facing, a lesson they are learning now, and a gift they will receive. Show me the six cards for Leo. Leo, sun, moon, and rising. Leo on the house cusp. Those with their sun in the fifth house. And Venus and Leo. March the 16th through the 22nd. Please show me the six cards for Leo. And there goes one of my nails. <laughs> one of the things about having um, acrylic nails is that they do tend to come off. So, sorry about that. We'll keep going now. All right. Okay. So, Leo. <clears throat> Excuse me. Wow, my voice just went. So, it could be that um, getting something with your voice, or it could be also that you feel like you need to say something. So I'm getting throat chakra coming up here. Throat chakra being affected already. Um, <clears throat> now there is an energy here of the something about the past here. I feel like something happened in your past, or this could be a past life relationship, or um, I'm seeing a situation here that has left you feeling bittersweet, um, probably more bitter than sweet. Um, I'm seeing a situation here when you think back in the past, um, you may be, you may have some bad memories or some bad feelings here that have not gone away, all right, that are, or that are unresolved. Um, I'm also getting someone here stuck in the past or someone here does not have fond memories of, a, of something that happened in their past, okay. Now, this could be involving children. Um, or it could be here uh, a memory or a trauma that happened in your past. Let's see, Leo, how you see yourself today? We have the tower in reverse. <clears throat> Interesting. So this is this is really talking about um, a situation that definitely needs to change. Um, I always say the tower in reverse is like the check engine light coming on in your car. Okay, so we've been alerted. The universe is alerting us to something that could potentially blow up in our face. All right, this could be some sort of minor surprise or shock. Now, because the tower is in reverse, it's telling me that there's still time to make corrective actions. But it's also telling me that something needs to be shaken up here in your world. Something needs to change. Um... Or we are going to have a full-blown tower situation. Now, it could also say, Leo, that you have dodged a bullet here. You avoided a tower situation or you stopped something from getting really, really bad. But let's keep going to uh, through the rest of the cards so that I can kind of put this into perspective for you. So the theme for you over the next week, and we have strength in reverse. So this is your card. However, it is coming up in reverse. Um, 
Leo, um, you may be dealing with some self-esteem issues this week. Could also be here that um, it, it could be a health issue. It could also be that we are um, we're not feeling strong or we're not feeling powerful. We're not feeling like we're standing in our integrity. Um, it could also be that this is someone else that you're dealing with who you know, there's a lot of compulsive energy around strength in reverse. This can be someone who, for example, loses their temper very easily, is not able to control their impulses. Um, this could also be someone who is having trouble bringing their ego under control. Um, this is also a situation where you may be dealing with dominance and submission. Someone is using too much force, too much power, too much control, or something is out of control and... It needs to be brought into balance here is what I'm seeing. All right. Um, I'm really surprised to see your card in reverse here because I really feel Leo's, Leo's in general have been doing pretty well. Um, but it could be that um, I'm just getting that something here is about to blow up or something here is about to blow and um, we're not maybe feeling... Um, so good about it we're not feeling very strong maybe we're feeling a little weak um now of course this could just be that we're feeling a little under the weather or we're not feeling our lion eye our liony lion i mean um our lion and lioness selves this week i feel some of us are not really feeling ourselves this week or we're not really feeling like we're in our power so let's keep going to see what why that might be so a lesson Leo has learned in the past that will be useful for them to remember this week. And we have the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. This is Jupiterian energy, also Sagittarian energy. We have Scorpio, Leo, Sag coming up right now. So with the Wheel of Fortune in reverse, this is talking about, um, again, things kind of out of our control that are not really going in our favor. It is also about moving against the grain when it comes to sort of the, the direction that the universe would like us to flow in. It can also talk about ongoing setbacks, delays, and confusion. So, and I don't know if you can see in this card, there's a little hourglass here. And so this is like, this is like time running out here, or this is maybe time is not really in our favor. Um, I'm really getting here, Leo, that, um, I feel like you can kind of sense this energy, um, with the wheel of fortune in reverse, this can be some sort of bad luck or just things that are, um, it may be that you stopped doing something because you could, you, you were sort of feeling like nothing. you knew you weren't in your element. You knew that you were feeling kind of powerless and you knew that something was not going to be going in your favor, and maybe you were right, maybe you were right. So let's see what uh, your challenge will be this week. Okay, we have the Knight of Wands in reverse. So um, you may be dealing with a fire sign this week, another Leo, Aries, or Sagittarius. And the Knight of Wands in reverse is really out of control. This can be someone who has anger management issues. They may fly off the handle um, completely. Um, not in control of this horse at all. Um, I don't know if you can see in this card, there's a little volcano that's uh, just smoking in the background. So um, I feel like you may be dealing with also a Sagittarius this week or someone who is resisting um, rushing into a situation. Now, I've seen the Knight of Wands come up as someone who is resisting um, passion, who is holding back their passion, who is holding back their adventure aside. I'm seeing a lot of cards here, um, Leo, that are kind of talking about um, holding back passion or holding back maybe just we we feel like we're about to explode here but we're really really trying to control we're really trying to keep something under a lid a lid on something um i feel like this is a challenge for you not to act on something you may be feeling actually you know what it is you may be feeling very frustrated very angry. It could also be that you're feeling very passionate about something, but you know that you need to resist the temptation to rush in, to 
get involved. Um, you may know that something is not going to go in your favor, and so that's why this tower is in reverse. It's not completely upright. But I'm still getting, Leo, that um, something here is not quite right about your energy. I really feel like there's I'm getting power struggles here. I'm, I'm feeling, I'm sensing that there's something going on with your own, um, with your own inner strength. Okay. Let's see. What is the, the, the lesson Leo is learning? Okay. The Ace of Cups in reverse. Okay. You may be feeling emotionally drained as well, or there may be a rejection here. I'm seeing someone turning down an offer of love. I'm also seeing someone here resisting getting involved in a situation. Um, this is also the heart chakra is blocked here. We're not letting our emotions flow freely. Um, normally with this card upright, it does talk about healing the heart. Um, unconditional love, peace, healing. Here I'm feeling like we're not, um, there can be a feeling of being drained as well. So there is a lesson here around someone rejecting an offer of love or someone may feel like they're not worthy of a situation, a person feeling, um, someone may be feeling unloved. Of course, or someone may not feel like, feel like offering their cup of love this week. However, there's a lesson around turning down this offer here or rejecting love or um, possibly um, a lesson around our emotions and what happens when we get to this point where we are emotionally drained or someone that we uh, are with is feeling this way. And the gift you will receive, oof, we have the Queen of Swords in reverse. So someone may be quitting a job, a relationship, um, getting out of something. Uh, this also could be, you know, the Queen of Swords is a teacher, a writer, a communicator. When she comes up reverse, she's really nasty. This can be someone coming into your life like this, an air sign, a Libra, Gemini, or an Aquarius. Um... Either you're breaking up with someone or you're letting go. Could be you're quitting a job, you're quitting a bad habit, or this could be someone coming into your life. Now, the Queen of Swords reverse is a nasty witch. She's nasty. She's very cruel, very um, um, sharp with her words. She's not very nice. Okay, so it may be best for you to resist you may have some not very nice things that you'd like to say, but you probably know that this is going nowhere. Um, this may have to do with this Ace of Cups in reverse. I feel like someone is either retracting an offer or is not offering something here. And there seems to be a lot of blocked energy. Now, I really do feel like this has to do with someone from your past. Could be a fire sign, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. I do have two cards of Sag, one of Leo, one of Scorpio. We have... Also, water sign coming up here, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, and Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. There's no earth in this reading, no earth energy. So we're not talking about money, finances, material security, stability. Um, this, this actually feels really unstable to me, um, which is shocking because I know, I feel like Leo's been doing pretty well recently. So I'm getting that... Um, this may be a little bit more of a serious week for you. Um, whatever it is, I feel like we're really resisting. We're really, I feel like we're trying to not be compulsive. We're trying not to get angry. Uh, but I feel like something here is really testing, is really going to be testing us um, emotionally this week and energetically. Okay, and I'm getting whatever this is. There really is no love here or there really is no opportunity for unconditional love, no real opportunity for healing here. 
Also with this Queen of Swords in reverse, this is a very cutting energy. Um, so it tells me that someone's trying to quit or get out of or sever ties with or even break up with someone. Who is Leo? Let's, let's take a look at who Leo is going to be dealing with. Oof. We have Gemini. Gemini. So you're dealing with a Gemini. And we do have the Queen of Swords coming up in reverse. So if you are dealing with a Gemini this week, I don't feel like they are coming in. They are coming up reversed. And uh, a little bit about Gemini the Butterfly. Geminis are curious, communicative, versatile, flexible, variety-seeking, social, collaborative, brilliant, perceptive, connected, vocal, adaptive, street smart, mobile, studious, superficial, restless, and fidgety. All right. So if you are dealing with a Gemini, I feel like I would not advise you to get involved with them because I feel like there's no love here. Um, I'd also feel like there's power struggles with this person. I don't feel like things are actually going in the right direction here. I don't feel like there's a lot of luck on your side or their side. And I can see that you're resisting. You're resisting getting involved, Leo. And they are coming up in the gift position, so you may be hearing from them. But of course, um, I don't. if you aren't hearing from them directly, their energy is telling me that they are not very happy with you, Leo. Not very happy. And someone here may have twins. I don't know if you can see that. So you could also be dealing with children here or a Gemini child. What is your advice for Leo? What is your advice for Leo this week? Oof, two cards. And we have Nurture, which resonates with the Empress and the Major Arcana, card three. And this is about... Um, you know, Mother Earth, getting grounded, obviously. And she sort of speaks about um, as we as we take care of our body, as we take care of our mind, as we take care of our our own hearts, our own um, our own person, um, we can then extend that nurturing energy out to everyone. So um, also, this is about abundance. It's about understanding that we have more than enough um, love and energy to give to everyone, um, even ourselves. Um, of course, it starts with the self, but it's telling me here to live in abundance. Um, you you are enough and you have enough, and there's always more. There's always more than enough for everyone here. So, um, I think that Leo, you're a very nurturing person, but you also sometimes forget to give that same that care and love to yourself. So we really want you to nurture yourself this week. Take care of yourself. Just as you give to others, you give to yourself. And we have Embrace, which is the world. So this is telling me that something is coming to an end this week. Something is coming to conclusion. Embrace the, the ending. Embrace all the lessons that you've learned. You're learning major lessons at this point. These are both major arcana. Um, your lessons involve... Uh, the Empress and the world. So um, something is coming to conclusion here. You're wrapping up loose ends. You may be quitting a job, quitting a relationship, getting out of something, something you're just done. You're, you're, you've completed it. You're done. If you're dealing with a Gemini, I feel like you're done with this person. You've learned everything you need to learn with this person. Um, I feel like if you can only bring, if you can bring the good memories with you, please do that. Try not to stay in the resentful past. Um, but I'm seeing that you're good, you're done, um, you've learned your lessons, and you're ready to move on. So Leo, this is your weekly reading. I hope you enjoyed it. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe. It really does help me out and help out the channel. If you'd like to book a private reading with me, my information is below in the description box below this video. Thanks for watching, guys, and have a great week.